Hey guys! Um, so I kind of want to do a little follow-up video to my uh, magical oil video that I made it's a couple days ago, a week ago, whenever I ended up posting it. Um, and just kind of tell you guys some of the results that I've got from it just because it is astounding some of the stuff that has happened since we've made it and I am just like blown away that it's worked as well as it has. Um, so the previous video, you know, we, we have our oil, which has uh, 13 different ingredients. Um, it's in a, an extra vinegar, extra vinegar, oh my God, extra virgin olive oil base. Um, there's different herbs, there's crystals. I have, we have um, 13 dimes because the whole, the big premise of the oil was for uh, finances, um, you know, kind of getting some of that gringo coming in since I'm back in school, so my hours are getting cut. Um, Kevin's transitioning from a summer job to something else. <laughs> um, so, you know, a lot of it had to do with finances and making sure that we got, you know, we got money to be able to pay for what we can pay for and to make sure that we're comfortable. That was the big thing. It's like, I don't need a lot of money. I just want to make sure that we're comfortable. You know, we have the funds to pay for what we need to pay for and, you know, be happy. Not that we're stressed all the time. Um, so, you know, we added 13 dimes for that. There was a couple different herbs we added for it. Um, we added a couple different crystals like goldstone and um, pyrite and rose quartz. We added a few different herbs in there for happiness. Some of them were for uh, wealth. Um, some of them were for uh, love to make sure that we have continuing love for each other and our families. Um, and just, just an overall well-being for, and it was basically for the next two years while I'm going through my program. So, you know, I was, I was saying in the last video, not to continue to reiterate myself, um, but I was saying in the last video how, you know, we did this at night. We had candles going. We had a red one or a, a pink one and a green one. We had all of our ingredients, or all of our ingredients, all laid out. Um, you know, I picked some, he picked some, and then we had our bottle. And as we put them in, we said what we were putting them in for. And we added it until we felt comfortable, and then we'd add a dime. We put an ingredient, add a dime. Put an ingredient, you know, for 13 different things, and. You know, while we were doing this, the wind started picking up. It blew out some of our candles. Um, you know, we had a, a storm come in, and it was just the most magical experience I've ever had. And, you know, with Kevin, I really feel like he has that innate energy in him anyway. Um, being native, you know, he's really drawn to that culture, which is very similar to pagans anyway. Um, so when we did this together, it was just, it felt so raw and you know I keep saying magical but that's just that's that's the word that keeps coming to mind is that's what it felt like it just felt so deep and so powerful so we get this oil together we put it up and uh, the next day he gets because he went and he applied for a couple different jobs uh, the next day he gets a call back for a job interview um, at the hotel here and the hotel that he works at is owned by the tribe of natives or Indians but uh, we call them natives up here um, the tribe of natives that he is part of so for him to get in you know he gets paid a little bit more and everything else so it was it was a big you know he went in for an interview he got the job it was awesome um, the day after that his car broke down and that cost us like 400 bucks so that I was like, what the hell? Like, why would this happen right after we made the oil? And you know, I really started thinking about it, and I'm like, well, you know, these things happen because you know it, it's better for it to happen now, when I still have the funds to fix it, instead of it happening, you know, a year down the road when I don't have the funds to fix it. When you know we're floundering trying to figure out where to come up with this four hundred dollars, whereas at least now. I felt like the oil was trying to prepare us um, for for what's to come. You know, it kind of 
you know, things broke down here and there. There was some money that we had to put out here and there, but I felt like it was more of, you know, getting us ready so that it would happen now as opposed to happening later. Um, so after that, I just had so many things where money was coming back into our pockets. Like, you know, he got three or four different job, th three? I think there's three different job opportunities. Um, we had, and, and that was another thing is, you know, he got hired and then there's all these hoops he has to jump through. So he actually doesn't start work for like another week or two, which I, of course, start freaking out again. I'm like, oh my God, what are we going to do? You know, I have to go down to part time for school and I'm freaking out. Well, you know, we, I go into work and I was at 40 hours. I, this past week I worked 27 because school started and um, I had 13 hours of vacation time left and I asked my boss if I could use that to make myself go back up to 40 and he said not a problem so that was 40 hours next week he's like you know you still have personal time and sick time he's like let's just use that so for the next couple weeks I'm still gonna be getting 40 hours even though I'm not using it because there was all this this time I had left this paid you know PTO I had left that I hadn't got to use before I stepped down so you know, I'm going to continue to get 40 hour work weeks for the next couple weeks that I wasn't expecting. Um, I actually, once I got into my program, I am taking pharmacology along with my surge check program because I thought I needed it. Well, in August, they said, well, no, we're integrating pharmacology in with the surgical tech program. So I found out a couple days ago that I get to drop my pharmacology program, which is 300 bucks back in my pocket. Um, so there's just, and you know, a couple days ago I made two big sales on Etsy. It was $100 in one day, which, you know, we got back so that we could not only get more crystals, but, you know, I, I had to put, you know, gas in my tank and, and all this other stuff. So it's just, it's like we put so much energy into that bottle. And while there's some stuff that happens, it's life. You know, shit happens. But I'd rather that crap happen now where we can fix it instead of later on. So, you know, it really, you know, when you do something like this, you do a spell, you do a mojo bag, you do anything like that, and you get things that seem like they're bad, you know, you really have to take it in perspective because good things come to, sometimes come in really strange packages. And so you have to sit and think, why would the universe put this shit in my lap right now? Like, why is this here? And when you really think about it, you're like, you know, I'm, the universe isn't going to give me anything that I can't handle. And so it's just, you know, I was so, oh my God, I was so stressed out. I wasn't sleeping. It was just, it was awful. And, you know, it's just like, it's just been, um, you know, thing after thing after thing that just keeps happening that I'm like, wow, you know, this, this oil that we made together that was so magical and so powerful is really working. And I am just so excited to see, you know, what, what's to come after this. So I just wanted to kind of do a little follow-up video and, and kind of tell you guys what's been going on because we made we made the oil it's probably two weeks ago three weeks ago maybe I'm, I'm really bad with time uh, I think when I posted that video we had made the oil a few days prior to that so maybe two weeks ago um, but yeah so it's just it's it's awesome um, you know I'm home by myself right now the boys went disc golfing and I didn't really want to go, so I'm uh, I'm home and I'm like, hey, I might as well just make a video and, and kind of, because I really wanted to tell you guys what has been going on, and I'm like, why the hell can't I? I could, I could do a ramble video and just kind of explain to you guys what's up, so, so that's what's up. Uh, it's another 10 minute video that I, it didn't need to be 10 minutes, but I just love talking, and so it's all good. Um, I am going to go continue to read some more surge tech stuff because I'm so excited about my program. I can't even, ugh, it's, it's so overwhelming. We got into the hospital Wednesday, Wednesday is my hospital days and just the different operating rooms. And, and I, I first walked into one and I've never been into an operating room before to see how bright everything is like the bright lights everything's white I, I just I walked in and I kind of got a little dizzy a little lightheaded and I'm like I don't know if I can work in this and then we saw more and more and more and it got more comfortable 
but it was it was just amazing and to see all the different tools and gowns and gloves and instruments and equipment and all the stuff that I have to know how to do and be efficient at it's like it's nuts it's absolutely insane and I'm so excited and I'm so ready for it and I just I'm so excited so anyway um that's what's up that's what's going on uh I guess I can add one more thing in here. I had some people that keep asking me if I'm still going no poo. Uh, and I am. I have been no poo for over six months now, uh, since February 13th. And so um, this is, let me see if you guys can, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm going to turn around so you can, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, well, I guess you kind of can, but my hair is down to, down to here. Yeah, so, and it's healthy, and it's, you know, it's, I love it so much, so, uh, that's that, you know, I'm, I'm still going strong with it, I have not used any kind of shampoo, any kind of hairspray, nothing has been in it other than coconut oil and baking soda and vinegar, so, uh, I guess, I guess that's all, I just, I just want to talk to you guys, but... I got stuff I gotta do, and it's already 11 minutes, and I know once videos get a little long, people are like, shut the fuck up. So, I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna get this posted, and I hope that you guys all have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.